how to handle doubt and uncertainty when manifesting your dream relationship. Hello beautiful soul, welcome back to my channel. This is Priya, your manifestation coach. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to transmute, override and dissolve the energy of uncertainty or doubt when you are in the process of manifesting your dream relationship. So if you are somebody right now who is feeling very triggered by what you're observing in your 3D reality, then you want to be sure to stick around until the very end of this video because it is truly a game changer. So let's get started. How to handle doubt and uncertainty when you are in the process of manifesting your dream relationship. Now, in order to transmute the energy of doubt and uncertainty, it's first important to understand how we create the energy of doubt and uncertainty to begin with. And this always comes down to one thing and one thing only, control. You are trying to control the manifestation of your dream relationship through the 3D. Meaning every time you're trying to figure out with your analytical mind, the who, the what, the where, the when. When you are focused on the how your manifestation will unfold, this is you trying to control your manifestation through the 3D. And here's the thing about that. The analytical mind freaks out when it doesn't have answers to its own question. Your analytical mind doesn't know how it's going to happen, the where, the when, the what. So then it begins to stress, to freak out, to worry, to live in the energy of fear. And then this creates that energy of doubt and uncertainty. This gets a lot of people into the state of, will it ever happen for me? What am I doing wrong? Am I doing something wrong? Will... I manifest my dream partner. Maybe it's just not meant to be. Maybe it will never happen for me. We begin to doubt the process because we're in the energy of doubt and uncertainty because we are stuck in our analytical mind trying to figure it out, trying to manage it, trying to control it, trying to make it happen. Whenever you are trying to figure it out, whenever you're trying to manage the manifestation of your dream relationship, it will always lead to one thing and one thing only, the energy of doubt and the energy of uncertainty. Your body will go into survival mode. You will begin to live from the energy of fear and anxiety. So the key to letting go of doubt and uncertainty is about understanding that this is created through trying to control your manifestation in the 3D. Once you understand this, then the opposite is also true. When you let go of trying to control the manifestation of your dream relationship through the 3D, because you have completely let go of the how, you're not trying to figure it out, you're not trying to manage it, you're not thinking about the who, the when, or the what, this is when the energy of doubt and uncertainty will dissolve. So it's really about withdrawing your attention from the how. Stop trying to control it through the 3D. So the real question is, are you willing to let go of control? Because a lot of people believe that they can only manifest their dream relationship by sitting there and trying to think about the how, the when, the what, trying to figure it out. When in reality, this only blocks you from manifesting your dream relationship because when you are in the energy of fear, when you're in the energy of doubt or uncertainty, when you're feeling anxious, this means that you're no longer an energetic match to your dream relationship. So you automatically block yourself from receiving what is already lined up for you because your dream relationship is here and is lined up for you. The question is, are you a vibrational match to your dream relationship and are you upholding the frequency of your dream relationship? Now, another thing to become aware of is that your analytical mind was never designed to figure out the how the manifestation of your dream relationship will unfold. This is the job of your higher self, source, God, the universe, whatever you want to call it. Your higher self has already worked out the how, has already set up corruptive components on your behalf to guide you from where you are to the manifestation of your dream relationship. So the how has already been worked out. 
your only job is to let go of trying to figure out the how, to let go of that energy of control. And to go deeper into this, you can never really control the manifestation of your dream relationship through the 3D. It doesn't matter how much action you take, what you say, what you don't say, what you do or what you don't do. If you're not an energetic match to your dream relationship, you are not going to manifest it, period. What will happen if you try to control it through the 3D by taking action from misaligned energy is that this will only lead to exhaustion, depletion, and it will make you feel like nothing is happening for you, nothing is going right for you. You will really struggle. You'll be in that energy of struggling because this is what happens when you're taking action or even better said, when you're taking massive action to compensate for misaligned energy. So the key to really shifting out of the energy of doubt and worry is about fully letting go of the false control that you're able to manifest your dream relationship through the 3D. And instead, you want to relax back to where your true control lies. You want to turn to where your real control lies and your real control lies in turning inwards and trusting in your higher self, trusting in your divinity, trusting in this higher power that dwells within you that has already worked everything out. Now you might be wondering, okay Priya, but how do I really do this? How do I really alchemize the energy of doubt and uncertainty when it comes up because I feel so triggered. In order to understand this on a deep level, I'm gonna talk you through an example. Let's say that right now you're somebody who has done the work. You have become a vibrational match to your dream relationship. But now you start to look for evidence. You're like, why isn't it here yet? You begin to think to yourself, hmm, has something gone wrong? And then this leads to doubt and worry. So now you're in the energy of doubt and uncertainty you're not really staying faithful to the outcome. You're beginning to think that it's not going to happen for you. In this moment, your only job is to get out of your analytical mind. Because when you stay stuck in your analytical mind, this is only going to amplify exponentially the energy of doubt and uncertainty. Because remember, if your analytical mind doesn't know the answer to questions that you're asking, it is going to freak out. This is going to put your body in survival mode, which is only going to amplify that energy of doubt and uncertainty. So your only job in that moment is to get out of your analytical mind. And the only way that you can do this is by really turning inwards and choosing faith. Choose faith over doubt and uncertainty. Because when you are in that energy of faith, you're out of your analytical mind. Faith is trust in the unseen. Faith is trust in the unknown. Faith is trusting that your manifestation is done no matter what you're observing in the 3D. And when you turn inwards, what you're really doing is you are relaxing to where your true control lies. In trusting in your divinity to know, okay, my manifestation is done. It's already been worked out. I don't need to work out the how. This automatically puts you out of your analytical mind because you're not trying to figure it out. You're not trying to manage it. You're not trying to make it happen. Instead, you're turning inwards you're in your heart and you are fully trusting in your divinity in the divine and in your higher self. This is the only way to really transmute the energy of doubt and uncertainty. If you stay stuck in your analytical mind, if you're trying to analyze it, if you go and talk to your friends about it, if you start to focus on the problem, this only keeps it alive. This only energizes and feeds the energy of doubt and uncertainty. So the longer you dwell there, the longer you linger in the problem, in your analytical mind, trying to figure it out, worrying, stressing, thinking, well, is it gonna happen? Maybe I should do this. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should join a dating app. Maybe I should be less like this or more like this. You're constantly analyzing because you're in the energy of trying to make it happen. This will only amplify the energy of doubt and uncertainty. So the key is to turn inwards and choose faith. Get out of your analytical mind, turn inwards, get into your heart and choose faith trust in your divinity. So to summarize, you are now aware that the easiest and most effective 
and quickest way to transmute the energy of doubt and uncertainty is by letting go of control, the false control that you can manifest your dream relationship through the 3D. Let go of this false control and instead turn to where your true control lies. Turn inwards and trust in your divinity. The more you try to control it through the 3D, the more your analytical mind is going to run rampant and the more you stay stuck in your analytical mind, mind this is only going to amplify the energy of doubt and uncertainty because your energy is in survival mode so at this point your mind is trying to control it through the 3d but the problem with that is you can never really control your manifestation through the 3d because manifestation is about becoming a vibrational match to your dream relationship so in those moments where you are in the energy of doubt and uncertainty Get out of the analytical mind, which will be running rampant, which will be trying to figure it out, which will be trying to manage it, which will try to convince you that you need to take massive action to make it happen. And instead, you want to become very conscious of this. You want to see the bigger picture, see it for what it really is, and then choose to turn inwards and trust. Trust in your divinity. Have faith that your manifestation is done. Choose faith over doubt and uncertainty. Faith is trust in the unseen, faith is trust in the unknown, and faith is trusting that your manifestation is done no matter what you are observing in the 3D. So the only way that you can really get out of your analytical mind is to turn inwards, get into your heart, and tune into that energy of trust. It's already been managed by your higher self. Everything's been figured out by your higher self. Can you trust in your divine self, trust in your divinity? This is how you transmute the energy of doubt and uncertainty. When you are in your heart, when you're not trying to figure it out, when you're out of your analytical mind, when you're in your heart, when you remain in that energy of faith, when you trust in your divinity, that energy of doubt and uncertainty will dissolve. It can no longer be kept alive because you're no longer in your analytical mind. Now, if you're somebody who would like to go deeper into what we've learned here today, if you would like a step-by-step -step roadmap to manifest your dream relationship, then you can get your hands on my free class, Six Steps to Manifest Your Dream Relationship, by clicking the link below in the description box. Or if you would like to work with me on a one-on-one -on -one capacity to manifest your dream partner, then you can apply for my flagship program, Sovereign Queen Academy, by also clicking the link below in the description box. And finally, if you're somebody right now who feels very unconfident about yourself, if you feel like you're not good enough, you're not lovable, and you'd like to learn how to step into the most confident version of you who knows that your dream relationship is done, who knows that you can manifest your dream partner with ease and speed, then you can watch my video here next, how to embody the energy of confidence. And last but not least, thank you so much for being here. I love you. I appreciate you. Have an amazing day. Mwah.